I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. David Chadwick asked me a question. He said, that knife that you've got, how do you make it work? Took a little bit of discussion to understand exactly what he meant. That. He wanted to know how I made it do that. Well, I had to stop and think, how do I make it do that? Uh, it's, it's a thing that I do kind of automatically because that's how I open the blade. The blade is made with a pin right here. It's just an extension, like a finger guard, so that your finger doesn't slide up onto the blade. The clever fellow who was making it decided he was going to take that finger guard and have it extend to the back of the knife. So when I push on that, the blade pops out. Now, I suppose somebody with a lot of strength might be able to get it to flip all the way open. Or if you loosened up the bolster screw, you probably could get it to flip most of the way open just like that. I don't want to have a knife with a bolster screw that loose because then the blade can pop out unexpectedly. Don't want an opening in your pocket. So what I do when I want to open the blade, I push on this while I'm flicking my wrist. The push gets the blade started. The action of flicking my wrist gets the blade to just open up under inertia. This knife has a piece of the bolster that flips up and catches the blade. When the blade is closed, that little bit of bolster steel is up. And then as the blade opens up, it flicks down and locks the blade in place. If you look at the bolster on this knife, it looks like this end isn't machined very well. It's kind of at a taper. That's so that when the little spring comes over, it wedges the blade open. No wiggle. That's a real important thing for me. I don't want to have a blade that's wobbling around. Now, why do I have a knife that you can do that with? If you're holding something in this hand and you want to take a slice off of it, you want to cut a piece, you want to open a package, you want to do whatever you're holding with this hand, maybe you have a rope that you're trying to get loose and you want to get it cut. That lets you do it one-handed. My other knives, I have to actually take and pull the blade open, two hands. No way to do it with one hand. So that's why I have this knife. It's not a weapon, it's a tool. Something that I can do something with, work with. It's got that nice little finger guard on there so I don't slide my finger up and cut myself when I'm trying to whittle something. I'm really happy with it, works just fine. But when I went back to buy them, they're like $6.95. Okay, $6.95, three bucks, it's not that much money, but why spend more money than I need to? And if I lose this one, then I'll go back to Walmart and see if I can get another one like it. Everybody else's is $25. I don't know that they're any better than this knife. Maybe a little better steel. This blade is stainless. Don't know the alloy. Don't really care. Works. Doesn't rust. Washes off easily. The bolsters are plastic. Uh, I don't know what they are. Probably something like uh, ABS. It's pretty hard. So, nice little knife. And Dave, that's how I open it. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching.